she's so low maintenance Don't need no champagne, poppin' entertainment Take her to Wendy's, can't keep her off me She wanna dip me like them fries in a frosty But every now and then when I get back Hey, what's going on YouTube? Right now we're gonna go pick up my brother's cow uh, Her name is Buttercup She um, just got bred um, from the other farm dried off So we're gonna throw her in here with the other animals in the pasture so we got the trailer hooked up and we're going to be getting on the road right now. We'll also be picking up hay a little bit later. I guess I can get a recording of that too. Um, yeah. Baby, a song you make me want to roll my windows down and cruise. Pull the trailer right there, uh, and I'm gonna walk um, Buttercup down along the hedgerow and then into the gate. Uh, this all here is all ice, and it's warm enough out. There's a small little bit of water. You can see puddles of it. It's all along the top, so it makes the ice super slippery. So we're gonna do our best to keep Buttercup from slipping and get her in the pasture successfully and hope the pecking order goes well. So what we refer to as the pecking order is where they try to find the dominant one in the whole group of cows um, the black and white Halstein was the primary dominant one until now. Buttercup will be the new dominant one. My little dingleback jersey tries to test it or dominancy. It's all fair game to anyone and everyone. Uh, Violet already knows her place. Everyone else knows their place. It's just my jersey has to be the odd one out. Um, they will get along over time, and this shouldn't last too much long. Maybe a day or so. Um... But this is just their way of living. Right now, um, before we go and get hay, uh, I gotta head down to uh, my grandparents' house. We have a tap up on the tree. It's our biggest production tree. Uh, I already got a full pail, almost half of another pail of sap. Um, I gotta adjust that tap. My brother tapped them both. And I think he put the taps a little too close together to begin with, but he tapped the one tap at a high angle, the tap that's doing the best. Um, so now the bottom of the tap is up against the tree, so it's not sitting in the hole right. So I think I'm gonna dig it out a little bit and uh, get that tap to sit well right into that hole. And um, then uh, it should, run, it should uh, run all into the pail a bit better. Cause I can see some sap running out and around that tap, so we're losing sap. But all these other taps will be needed to be collected. I will get a video up here soon uh, of collecting. I already made a video on tap, then I'll make a video on collecting, and then there will be another video on boiling. I'll get that up to you uh, soon, hopefully. So um, we'll get to that. Okay, so here's the tap. Um, it's really windy out right now. I can't set up my tripod because it'll blow my phone over. So I'll just uh, give update videos of it. Thinking about like grinding right below here. You can see it's right on the other side. It's not sitting up in the hole like it should be. We got like ga five gallons of, uh, probably about six gallons of sap from these two. That one made the most. 
and this one made about less than a half. Um, yeah, this tree is a magnificent tree. Taps are a little too close together. As you see, I mean, almost it's not really even a hammer length away. Should be one like right here. If I could do it again, I'd put one tap like right there above that root, and one up on one of these upper sides if I could. But got two taps in her now. I think three is the most we can put in there, but I think we'll keep it at two right now. Later in the season, we'll probably take it and put it on the other side of the tree, the north side of the tree, because on that side we'll warm up. Um, I'm gonna go pull some taps up there and tap that tree over there. That's a maple too. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'll do that probably sometime today. Um, I'll get do a collecting video later on. So I got scraped out from under it. Now she's running a little bit better. I pulled the tap out just a little bit and it looked like it was running a little bit better. Probably because it was crunched up against the end of there. I think that one's going to run better now. I pulled this tap. You can see it's still running a little bit. It's going to run a little. But I re-tapped it over this side. I think this side's going to run real good over here. It's a little bit farther away. Uh, and it's above a root. I think it's already running good already. And we're catching everything. Um, might be able to get another tap down here and put in this hole just to make sure. Um, but this tree's gonna be good. And strummed a couple chords and sang from the heart. Girl, you sure got the beat in my chest bumping. Hell, I can't get you out of my head. update you in the next videos i'll probably be getting up a uh, collecting video for sap soon we're going to be having some good weather this week um so we'll be collecting a lot i collected the one tree today made just over five gallons of sap and my brother went around when i went to go um get hay went to collect more uh, i don't i think he said we made over 10 gallons and then he went back to that tree that i collected and they were it was both pails, both a quarter full. A quarter full. So that means that first, that tap that I retapped is doing good. Better than the other tap. They're doing even amounts. So um, I'll do that. And then a boiling video will be coming up after that. Whether it's the same video as the collecting video or a different video. I'll get that out there. But uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day. <laughs>
and I tried instinctively stopping with my foot, and that's when I wiped out. <laughs> Awesome. Take me to the country, show me where you're from. I said, Shouty, you won't love 